Just left the gym, heading to the gym. No joke, I do different things at the two different gyms that I have a membership to. Uh, but, uh, hey, what's up? We're horizontal, baby, you happy? I knew I knew a lot of you would get mad. The reason why I did it is because I have a lot of mobile viewers. So I was like, I don't know. Who knows, you know? Maybe the new silly generation likes to hold it that way, but I forgot you all some old ass uh, I'm an idiot. Yes, I'm heading to the gym now. And um, so crazy that I'm... That up. It's so crazy that I'm still in. Oh no, you can see how ugly I look when I'm walking around the <laughs> That's so ugly. Look at this guy. What are you, a fucking influencer, bro? Oh yeah, good show, dude. Oh yeah, who's listening? No, no, keep going. No, 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 go vlog. Vlog, yeah. Yeah, this guy. He's got that vlog in him, eh? Yeah, so tall. Shit, that car's there. I look worse standing in this corner now. Uh, I forgot I was gonna tell you, I'm going to the gym to uh, I'm horizontal. And let's get away from this guy, I hate him. Um, she gave me a weird look. Guys, I'll tell you, no matter how long you do this shit, it's never not cringe. It's the cringest thing you could do. And just as I'm older now, it's even worse. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, so stupid what I was gonna say. I need a haircut, but that's so funny because for like years I had long hair, so I definitely needed a haircut. I don't know why you guys let me rock that ponytail for so long. It's so dirty. Um, and I needed a haircut then, that whole time, but not really. But now that I got a haircut, I constantly like need a haircut now. Like, look at this. That's too, that's too frizzy. Like, I'm not like, this is like a baseball card from 1974. This is the best gym ever, Monster Gym. I've been going here since 1999. So I paid the 1999 price for access, which is like a fraction. My camera's dirty. This is the best gym because it has every single uh, old piece of equipment that you would ever want and plenty of women figure out the videos. Uh, I do hit up the bistro bar sometimes. I used to get all my prepared meals here. I slowed down a whole bunch since over the years. I get a strawberry banana shake, two scoops of protein, and it comes up to 17 bucks. I swear it used to not be that much. All right, that's the $17 shake right there, two scoops of protein though. That's what we get. Uh, but there's the extra. Yeah. This ain't an easy shake to make with strawberry and banana in this little of a cup. No shot. So I always get the extra cup. Uh, you know, 17 bucks. I think I deserve another one. He's literally the size of my crock. <laughs> He's literally the size of my crock. Calm down. Calm down, dude. Be a crock, dude. You want to be a crock? Ooh, that's a big crock right there. So this is literally what my diet mostly consists of. This is a ribeye steak, bison ribeye steak. I normally get leaner meat, uh, which is like two grams of fat. This is 20 grams of fat. And I throw it in the air fryer, 380 degrees Fahrenheit for like 10 minutes, flip it over at the halfway point. And this is breakfast every single day. I love this. Shredded wheat with some oat milk, two scoops, two scoops of protein. Look at this little boy right here. So there's a candy store nearby my place. I had to check it out. They had the Nerds gummies, which I love these Nerds gummy clusters, but I do prefer the sour version. So if they get that sour version, I'm all about it. And a lot of these are brand new to me. I've never seen that Duff beer from The Simpsons. I love this Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Strawberries and Cream. Uh, it's a great drink. It tastes like how Strawberry Crush used to taste. And I got a pack of the Sour Nerds. Now this isn't the clusters, it's the big shells, just as good. Uh, you know these are crazy. I, I never had them, but like the flavors aren't for me. Peach, melon, white grape. I'm not really vibing that. White grape, maybe, on Shabbos. And these pickles are like, these blew up a couple years ago, but I've seen them so much. I had them once. I did not like it, but I want to try it again. Uh, these uh, Warheads Collabo, Tapatio Collabo is very smart. Good on them. And over here, we got some uh, of the weirdest gummies I've ever seen. I'm, I'm not I'm talking about that Caraboule. I'm talking about this Fruit Loops gummies. I had to get it. At this point, I'm like, why not Trix gummies too? You know, let's go crazy. Cocoa Pebbles uh, gummies. Swedish Flish Blue Lemonade. Why am I speaking bad? And we got the Sour Patch Kids. Look at this bitch made shit right here. Have you ever seen something more bitch made than not so sour on the Sour Patch Kids? If it's not so sour, then they in the wrong patch, playboy. And we got this Wall of Prime, bro. You know if I was like uh, 12 years old, I'd love this. 
This looks like it's like a Dunkin' Donut type candy type thing. I don't vibe Dunkin' Donuts that much, so I really do not give a shit about this. And they're next to the Oreo Cakesters, which were never my vibe. So that whole Cakester scene, not feeling it. Uh, this chocolate covered Cocoa Pebbles, I'm interested in. Mr. Beast, I don't know about that, bro. We got one chocolate bar there. It looks like it's a... Uh, not really that hype of a chocolate bar, but that's Mr. Beast. He is a miss, so what can I say? And we got the sour section over here. Uh, and you know it's sour because I got like that black and yellow caution vibes all around it. Because you know there's parents out there bitching that their bitch kid can't handle the bitch ass candy. And uh, they got like a little merch section. This candy store is great. And it's right nearby. I can't believe this candy store <laughs> is so close to me. And this is the basement. They had a whole second floor where they're rocking my turtle chips. Now, you guys know how I feel about these. I love the birthday cake turtles chips. They're next level. They did not have them here. They had the seaweed and uh, something else, the uh, spicy lime. I thought about these honey dipped bad boys. Anything with like a little Asian character on the bag and some some uh, some character, some language I can't understand. I'm all about that. Like, I want to try it out. Trailer Park Boys almost had me with that, but... I wonder, I really wonder. I did scoop up this Italian uh, red meat flavor Lay's. And once more, we have a selection of drinks with anime characters. Uh, this is for white boys, right? There's not, there's no like Japanese adults drinking that, right? It's, it's, it's white children, right? Uh, and this Chick-fil-A always selling the sauce, but they don't sell the Chick-fil-A sauce. Got those workouts in just so I can go buy a big old bag of candy. I'm not even, uh, I'm not even, what do you mean I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm, I'm very happy, I'm excited, I like trying new things, I like eating new candies, I like eating new ass.